One great reason for living in Florida, you can hop in your car and find great places to visit. And there's one popular place you might miss if you blink. On US 98, most people drive right by the local landmark that turned quiet Carabelle, Florida into a national tourist attraction. I'm Jackie Barron. Coming up, I'll show you what it is. For years, the crime-fighting arm of a small town reached out of a police station built to hold one person. Carabelle sits on the open Gulf of Mexico just south of Tallahassee in Franklin County. News Channel 8 reporter Jackie Barron and photojournalist Dave Willis show us it's all about one town's police force and its phone. Few people have heard of Carabelle, Florida. Except for the 1,200 who call it home. It was a real busy little town right. to start with. But in this slow fishing village, residents are quick to brag. Oh, we enjoyed it. People come from all over. About the celebrity who came to town 36 years ago. <laughs> but it was not done, you know, for attention or anything. Ruth Mirabella is especially proud. It was her husband's idea. Because he, he was proud of that. He always helped people, wanted to do something for people. Well, this phone booth was put here in 1963, in March of 1963, and a man, uh, man by the name of Johnny Mirabella. He didn't know it, but Johnny Mirabella had built the world's smallest police station. Thank you. He got famous from the little police station. At the time, the officers needed cover. So they could get out of the rain. <laughs> and the weather. We just sat around the phone when it rained and we answered it. Jesse Gordon Smith is a former chief of police. Several people come by, they'll hear it ring and they'll answer it. He says the booth is often the biggest victim of crime. They'll cut the wire on it and sometimes they'll take the phone out and throw it across the fence over on the old schoolyard. And several times after the booth was there, they tried to steal the booth. But they were caught. Maybe they want to take this souvenir. Okay. After all, this is the star of Carabelle. They'll want to, you know, see the phone booth, and they wanted us to take pictures with them and stand inside of it with them, handcuff them to the phone booth and everything. Today, someone has pulled the plug again. And last year, the town finally gave the now four-man force an office. It's just a phone booth, a pay phone booth. And you know, there's not too many pay phone booths left. But Carabelle still considers this its official police station, perhaps as a tribute to simpler times and the man who put Carabelle on the map. Jackie Barron, News Channel 8. Officials say the station's open-door policy has caused some problems. At one time, people were using the booth to make long-distance calls, and the town had to pick up the tab. Now the community probably wouldn't hook the phone booth back up again. They're going to preserve it as a town monument. Pretty neat place, huh? A little claustrophobic, though, if you get locked up in there. I wouldn't Just go speeding through that. No, yeah. I'd take it easy. Yeah.